Disclaimer, I'm not being paid by the creators or developers of Vapid MMO to say anything broadcasted in this video. Please enjoy the video. Hello everybody, this is your Trends from the SC Vault channel, and today I'm doing another game review. And this is once again on Vapid MMO. And the reason why I'm doing this on Vapid MMO is because when I made the Vapid MMO game review, that was when Vapid MMO was in its earliest of stages. So it could have gotten better and plus that video is the most viewed channel the most viewed video on our channel not the most viewed channel so we're going to see if this game has improved in the slightest hopefully and one thing that I've noticed from the past videos that I've made with the game reviews and everything is that I need to turn down this music because I am literally I can't think Okay, one thing I realized with those old game review videos that I did a little while back, you know, with the, you have to win the game and run with the mad god, and of course this game was the fact that I was extremely immature with those videos. I always didn't like the games I was playing, so of course I didn't like it, so I always just talk crap about it. All because I didn't like it. I never gave it a chance. I never... I never added in the positive aspects of the game, and that's one thing I need to change about these videos. Now, of course, the recent videos like Bus Driver and Overcast Wall and the Werewolf, those are more mature. I mean, the Overcast Wall and the Werewolf one was not as mature as I want it to be, but it's more mature than the last videos that I made like over a year ago. So I'm going to go back to those games, and I'm going to remake those videos more maturely and because those games could have developed a little bit and they could have gotten better you know maybe I'll like it maybe I won't who knows but at least I give the games a chance so this is what we're doing the first one Ape and MMO you probably have heard of this game from some places if you're a massive multiplayer online player who knows I don't know I don't really play Massive multiplayer lines or MMOs. That's one reason why I never liked this game. And we are going to just get started. So I don't know who to talk to right now. I literally left off from the last video. Well, not the last video, the first video that I did. This is pretty much where we left off. Except for the fact I think that we built something. I don't remember. That was like over a year ago. Good job, you're awesome, etc, etc. Now go away. Now you're free to do whatever you want. If you want to stab things, then go talk to my friend Zero Zombie Brains. If you want to build things, then go talk to my friend Draco the Architect. Awesome. Okay. Let's talk to this architect guy. Nice, con your construction project is really coming along. But it's no fun if you can't tell everyone who built it. So you better put up a sign. If we had an HOA, it'd be a requirement to put up a sign in front of your house. But I accidentally breathe fire on the last HOA. So, yeah. To build a sign, just buy one and place it. Then face towards the sign, and then type in the chat window, slash sign, and then put the text there. For instance, slash sign, Drake was amazing. I'm not saying you have to give me credit or anything, but you know. That's just a good example. You know, if you wanted to give your good mentor some props but whatever you want it to say is fine I'm just saying why is it zombies get all the love you know they have entire conventions about zombies but what about what you have to go now okay okay well I didn't watch the video the Ape MMO video because I was pretty much having a cringe attack just by the first 10 seconds of the video so I don't know where I'm going oh we're back here so we need to buy a sign from the shop and then put a sign up so what I've seen so far from this game is that it really has not changed whatsoever um, I'll buy 10 signs because I don't really know there's a minute inventory yes these are okay put up a sign right there okay okay that's awesome Oh, uh, well, I'll put up two signs, I guess. Oh, well, that's 
Okay. How do you get rid of these? I bought way too much. Okay, well... Oh, good god, I'm messing everything up. Um... Okay, so walk up to the sign slash wait T C press, the, press and oh press enter I am blind that's the cat just kidding cats aren't blind sign this be the home of the person boom okay so my quest was complete. Let's actually add some of the music that was in here. It's not copyright. If it is, then I'm probably going to slightly have feelings for suicide. So let's just unmute that. Okay. I can already feel me not being able to speak because of this. But let's try it out. Okay, so now go talk to Robbie Z. So let's respawn home. Talk to Roby Z. Wait, do we have to talk to Roby Z? Oh, okay, yeah, we've already done this. Good work. Do you have a roof yet? What? You don't know how to build a roof. You don't know how to build in the air. Just use your wings. You don't have wings, really. You are weird. Well, go ahead and use the Z levels then to build in the air. You can just use one of these two techniques. Uh, you can use the first technique, which is hold down shift when you place an item, and you can set the height, or at the bottom right of the screen, use the Z-axis lock to lock the height of the subsequent placement. Go on, try it now with seven blocks. Okay, so let's go back to the thing. Okay, I love how it just changes music when I leave the areas. Okay, so build seven blocks in the air using these techniques. Hold on, shift, and we place an item. Okay, so... Oh. Okay. Okay. I think this is working. Um, yeah, this is gonna look really messed up. I got an achievement placer of, of blocks. Yeah, that, that does not look okay. This looks... This looks like something I would legitimately build in Minecraft. And that's literally so bad. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is worse than my builds in Minecraft. If you've seen those, which you probably haven't, <laughs> you should be glad. So, I've... Okay... At the bottom right of the screen, use Z-axis lock. Um... I don't understand this. So, oh, okay. Well, I'm pretty sure I already made the roof. I think I did. I'm just gonna do this, whatever this does. Just let it be. Yeah, this is completely messed up. I don't know what I did to this. It actually looks somewhat decent when I came in here. But now it just looks like trash. Okay, well, I guess let's talk to the other guy again. We're gonna spend the last like three minutes of the video, which is coming up soon, talking about the game and stuff like that. Okay, now it's time to create a great structure, and I leveled up. I will even give you 20 gold from my hoard. To help you get started now, go forth and build something awesome and come back when you're done and I'll give you a reward. Okay. Since I don't think they really do have emotions, I don't think they have really valid opinions, so I could pretty much make a box and it, it, it'll apparently be awesome. Okay, so place 100 blocks. Oh, just kidding. Get gold. Oh, God. I didn't mean to press that. Okay, it didn't do anything shop let's buy some more construction open let's buy some gold okay I don't have enough to purchase this so I bought like 20 maybe if I'm lucky 
so let's pick this up and let's just do this. Okay. Oh my god. Shop. Can I just like... <laughs> you have to have money. Okay. Where did he say he'll give me gold? I guess I will respawn over there. Um. Did he say he would reward me with gold, or would he give me gold to buy all the blocks? Because I don't remember. Well. Whatever. How do you get... Okay, I guess I can just... I guess I can just go and make more gold by just doing this. Want some work? Zero Zombie Brain says. Welcome to level 2. My first quest for you is slay hipsters for me. Oh, okay. Go forth and slay 13 hipsters. And then come back here. You can find hipsters at the underground hipster dungeon. Just take the teleporter to it, go upwards past the level 2 door, and continue following the road up to the to reach the dungeon's teleport area. I didn't listen to a word he just said, so let's just make the best out of this map. Um, menu respawn route. Go upwards to telepad. Oh wow, I'm literally... Wow. Go upwards to telepad for underground. Is this it? And the player's currently active. Is this the hipster dungeon? Underground hipster dungeon? This is like the cat dungeon. Oh my good god. Why are these cats destroying my face? I'm leaving. Goodbye, everybody. Just kidding. I can't leave. Oh my good god. Oh wait. Just kidding. Okay, yeah, I'm never doing that again. Never, ever. I've entered the. F uh. Okay, well, I guess we can go back here. We can't leave yet. And of course, this video is almost about to end, so I'm going to just get right to the the review part of this. This may have been boring, but let me just mute the audio so it's so I can actually talk. So, 8-Bit MMO, this game I thought was the worst game ever, but of course times have changed, I've grown up, hopefully has grown up too, with me, I, I hope so, but 8-Bit MMO, it has a really good creative aspect of this game, I mean, you can make stuff, I mean, the stuff, I don't understand them, with the whole roofing and stuff like that, because it looks really weird, but... Who am I to judge about building stuff on an 8-bit game? I mean, it's 8-bit. That's the point. So it looks really weird. And this game has a pretty good aspect of quests and everything where you can go and, and, and slay hipsters, which is my dream. And then you can also get gold and stuff like that. So I think it's pretty... It's, it, it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not a big fan of it, but it's who am I to judge? There's people out there that actually enjoy these types of games, so I can't just say that it's a bad game. Don't get it, because you never know. I mean, I recommend it. Go out and try it out, see if you like it, and if you don't like it, you don't like it. If you like it, then good for you. So, I'm going to re-rate this game out of 10, and I'll be more quick. And let's just add a little bit more positivity into this. So, here we go. And yeah, that was a sky message. So, the rating, uh, my friend, will be a 5.5 out of 10? No, 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 no. 6 out of 10. That's, that's good. So, that will be my final rating, 6 out of 10. I'm pretty sure that my rating in my first video that I did this on was like a 2 or 1 out of 10, but I don't know what was going through my head. Probably LSD. Just kidding. Never done drugs in my life. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for 
the remakes of the game reviews in the future of You Have to Win the Game and Realm of the Mad God. And if I miss anything else, I don't remember making any other game reviews, but we'll probably do those too. So, I hope you guys enjoy once again. Leave your feedback, please. If yeah, I mean, I'm not forcing you to. Just do whatever you want. So, yeah. Goodbye, everybody.